हेलो क्या नहीं किया ऑडियो नॉट ओके Uh, so be before going to the english literature i have not introduced so if you did not hear me i am john mitchell you know i am i am handling uh, english literature here in shankarayya's academy i have completed my phd in english literature i am a gold medalist in english literature once upon a time so bachelor's of english literature of course then double masters in english literature then you know cleared net uh, cleared net four times and i am a jr fellow and uh, uh, and completed the phd as well okay in a, from a central university and i with a with the uh, english literature optional i had gone up to interview stage in upsc uh, so that's a brief biodata so you can consider me a, a little authority to guy on english literature you know there are plenty of videos available in youtube and stuff like that people talking about english literature optional and stuff okay but i had gone i had gone with that optional with the interview and uh, you know my friends some of them are in services so they are also will be able to help you out and i will highly encourage you to ask any doubts whatsoever you have regarding english literature optional or any anything so it will be i just give you a overall brief introduction about uh, an optional per se then i will be touching on english literature optional okay so though my courtesy lies in i should tell more about english literature optional i will be just dealing much more about the statistics part of it the way you supposed to choose an english, uh, an optional paper and that gives an advantage or a disadvantage to you then i will be proceeding with the english literature optional so before getting uh, to the the crux of the class uh i just wanted to start with uh, the archimedes who said that uh, give me uh give me a lever and a place to stand and i will move the world okay that is true for almost all of us only thing you need a place to stand it means a space where you will be able to sit and study or focus on it. and a lever lever in this case your lever might be your optional paper or you know your writing skill or your grasping ability okay if you have not found your your own lever try to find it out what is your lever so there is a space for you and a lever you have and you will be able to move the world we no need to move the world we need to just to secure a seat out of of course we'll secure one of the top most seat out of you know the available seat 1200 uh, something so always keep this principle in mind i need only a place and a lever and what is going to be my lever your optional subject can be a lever most of the people it is a optional subject is the uh, the lever they have or some people have an exceptional writing skill that is the lever they have or some people have uh, the great analytical skills of putting things into perspective that is the lever some people have their lever as an early exposure to civil services you know parents are already into some kind of services so from their childhood they have seen what is needed and what is not needed then they prefer that is their lever so if at all you have not found what is your lever try to find it out your la- the lever you suppose to have and the space to stand these are the only criteria for any success anywhere on earth and especially very true for civil services so why english literature of course why not okay that is a thing okay uh, if you ask me a single thing not because you use you, you know you suppose to come and attend by class or anything like that out of my analysis goes not because i studied english literature actually uh, i would say that uh, hands down you can definitely choose english literature for various parameters that i will be just trying to cover it up okay and uh, you know i can i can sit on one on one with uh, any faculties for that matter to tell and defend why not english literature it is as simple as that okay my hands hands down answer is that 
Okay, so in importance of optional paper, that is Dr. John Mujal, okay. So see, you know that uh, out of 1750 mark, this is a, the 500 mark that plays a very crucial role here. If you are some, about to get somewhere around 350 to 360 mark in optional paper, it means that you, you are sure in top 100 and you are going to get the service you really wanted to get. Okay, that is the optional, you know, 350 plus. So if you are going to 370 and all, it is like, my goodness, you know, you are somewhere, someone supposed to be next to Jesus after the result comes up. You know, you are an optional guru, like, okay, so. So it can significantly impact your amplifying. You know, these are the normal cutoffs that normally we have, main cutoff, what we get. Okay, the category wise in 2023, before 2022, 748, 741. So this is somewhere we need to have the cutoff. Why I need to tell these things, sir, uh, as if, I, as if uh, we do not know these things and all, most of the times, definitely you do not know. Uh, trust me, most of the candidates I meet, you know, they do not know what is the real cutoff I should know because we have come to a, uh, a situation where we need to see everything in terms of mark, whether it will increase my half mark, full mark, or one or two marks. Your class for here is whether this optional will help me to push forward and to get services. Okay, so I should know, you know, and an average, what is a mark, I will be getting it. So this is the average. So somewhere around the 740, 750 is, it is safe bet. Okay, if I get a, a 750 plus, then I will be into the services, something like that, okay? So final cutoff with the interview marks added, 741, 953 means 212 mark for interviews and stuff like that, you know, that's half we are going to. So somewhere around 750, if at all I really wanted to get into the service, then I have to have an exceptional mark in an interview, then I'm going to have. If out of the 750, 350 alone comes from my own paper. It means that definitely I am going safe somewhere. Okay, so uh, that safe part that we need to concentrate. Okay, out of 750, 350 comes from here and the other five papers combined, if I get somewhere around, let us say 400, then definitely, you know, I am going to be on the list. Not Thing, nothing doing. So that's the, the way you have to capture it. You have to calculate it. What, what is an average mark that I am aiming to get each and every paper so that you know I will be able to be on the safer side. Okay. So you know these things. There are 48 optional papers. Candidate must choose one subject uh, consisting of two papers. That's what we have. Okay. Normally we have popular choices, public administration, geography, sociology, history. So they attract, you know, then you have, what else, you know, nowadays anthropology, to, uh, it tends to be higher on the side, then uh, what else is there? Uh, philosophies, you know, not that level, it's okay. Anthropology and philosophy, because their syllabus is much less. Okay, so that's what people tend to choose it and stuff like that. So attract high number due to overlapping syllabus with the general study. So this also gives uh, uh, an... Uh, uh, and overview about, you know, so you, most of the people think if I, if I, if I take history, uh, if I take history, then it overlaps with my prelims preparation as well as my mains preparations and stuff like that. So uh, people take for that, sociology also for the same reason, geography also the, for the same reason, okay? So this is not because that general studies point of consideration, okay? So less preferred subjects, you know, as of uh, last year, mains is concerned, animal husbandry and veterinary sciences, agriculture, management, you know, with a specific academic background, people tend to take. Okay. So there is a myth also that goes around with English literature that if at all you are an English literature fellow, then only you should take English literature and you'll be able to write and stuff like that. Okay. That's what uh, uh, that goes on. So, see, this is, uh, I, I have got uh, uh, the overall notification is uh, this one only 2019 afterwards, you know, we did not have that much data to collate. So see geography, how many people are opting for it? 4,351, you know, it, it, that has come down considerably. Okay, so the number of candidates who are opted for various optional subjects from 2015 to so public administration 7077, it has come down. 
political science remains the same almost philosophy of course it has gone down coming up and stuff like that. okay so <clears throat> uh, in i have not given you know normally people opt and go for mains uh, uh, go for mains in uh, uh, from english literature it is around uh, you know 50 to 70 okay that's sometimes sometimes it goes to 30 and uh, that is uh, you know we can say average 50 candidates normally write english literature average that's that is the maximum we can have okay sometimes it goes up to 30 okay that is uh, that is the level we have okay so you know before choosing any optional the only thing that uh, should comes into your mind whether this optional will help me to pass the exam correct so we cannot just randomly select an optional uh, because someone told it some teachers came and sold that optional in front of you some teachers were good looking that's why you chose the optional that's not a criteria that you are going to play with or you know you felt that your friend was so persuasive enough to persuade you that is not the way you play with your life here in upsc thing okay you are trading off with your life correct so the the trade off that you are having with your optional literature has to come in terms with uh, whether you will be able to get, what each and every subject has an average striking rate do you get me see for example uh let us let us put into a situation that you go and buy a car and uh, some cars have uh, accident rate of let us say 100% almost all the cars meet with an accident and there are uh, the car uh, so there are some cars you know they have 50% some cars have 30% some cars have maybe 1% so when you before you buy a car you will definitely not consider the car that has 100% okay it means that you know it is on a suicidal mission do you get me so see the first and foremost thing that uh, you keep in a criteria of ch- choosing something is whether the thing that i am going to choose will help me in a long run or not right it is as simple as that we are selfish by nature so each and every subject has a different strike rate in the sense that you know pub- public administration has a different strike rate and uh, english literature has a strike rate so how many people write and how many people get through this it is it is very simple on that okay so mathematics normally do not lie you know i can lie right you can lie anyone can lie true anyone can sell anything correct but the strike rate put mathematically will not be able to give us a, a negative connotation so here we have in 2019 as i said the data is available that has remains pretty same because syllabus hasn't changed or anything else okay see animals and veterinary sciences 16 candidates appeared three recommended that is 18.80 percentage so then management 11 percentage commerce and accountancy 10 economics 10 10 you know let us put 11 agriculture 11 medical science 11 civil engineering 10 10 10 sociology and stuff like that sociology 10 um that is 1263 candidates 126 were recommended candidates okay so geography uh, you know uh, it this is in 2020 it had 16 percentage public administration 15 sociology 16 history 16 15 15 etc cetera, etc cetera. these are the high strike range that they had in 2020 okay so you know somewhere around this seems plausible okay so it tells that somewhere around the people are varying between uh, 16 percentage average of the highest strike rate this changes okay top uh, top 10 optional subjects for upsc 2024 these are the thing and definitely they have added english literature as well as one of the top 10 optional subjects that you can choose from i have not purposely shown what's the strike rate of english literature because that is where we will come so before taking an optional you need to sit and help so uh, let us let us have a mathematical formula of the, the previous one so public administration or geography see 4000 students 4000 plus students 
they wrote and how many cleared is uh, 7702 is it that is a 6.59 percent okay so that is a normal strike rate they have and uh, you know consider this on a competitive scale uh, on a competitive scale uh, there is an optional which has only 100 students and the striking range is the similar okay the striking range is the similar and uh, there is a there is a, another very famous options striking range also let us say similar where your probability of passing is higher you get my point see if it's 16 out of 100 there are 16 people are passing which which tells that your competition is limited within that 100 your competition is to the only to the size of a classroom okay we are very scattered it means that within 100 you come within that 100 to the 16 to the top most is much higher in comparison to the competition of 4000 people you, you you get my thing because your your competition is not widely distributed do you get me your competition is not widely distributed in terms of the people who are already in service okay the in terms of people who went to the interview and failed in terms of people who went for the mains previous year and worked hard so these are the people who normally come within those 4000 ranges it means that there are veterans who are coming into the fray again in thousand numbers whereas you have though mathematically it is a similar thing still you have uh, a higher possibility from 100 i can come to 16 from 4000 i for me to reach the 16 percentage is much 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 higher it means also says see this seven or two people let us say for an example this seven or two people were roughly competing in comparison to the people who were competing with only with the 2000 uh, people do you get me so it could have been much easier for this 47 people to defeat 277 candidates in comparison to the people who those were might be in other subjects that's what i'm saying okay so this is what and uh, you know always of, of the top whenever an analysis is done regarding the optional papers and stuff uh the literature is normally excluded because it is a whole bunch range so they they put prop, popular optional subjects and in literature they add, try they try to add two two literatures to be prominent one is hindi literature as well as english literature okay this is vice versa first english literature then hindi literature that's what they do okay so why people do consider a literature syllabus as a conducive literature optional as a conducive one in comparison to the other thing one is often have a concise syllabus okay most of the people say you know english uh, literature syllabus is runs into pages so it is so huge do you get me? It, it is so huge. It runs in the syllabus. Uh, let me put it, you know, you are having, you are having two lakh rupees in cash and uh, two lakh rupees in your GP account. Okay. Or two lakh rupees as a check in a single paper. Its value doesn't increase or decrease. It remains the same. The weight might have increased according to the mobile you use or the cash you have or the check papers weight do you get me but the weightage is the same the, uh, you know the, since it is a it is a simple piece of paper the checkbook doesn't lose its own worth do you get me it, it doesn't mean uh, a literature syllabus that runs into so many pages it is so bulky doesn't mean that the mathematics syllabus simply they had given on, only in one page it is going to be so easy you you get my point only thing that you have to go so another thing is often have a concise syllabus in the sense that let me uh, let me give an example see in in pub public administration or geography or anything 
the examiner always have the uh, examiners always have the liberty to go beyond uh, the syllabus given because anything can crop up in the middle of the night the uh, the examiner sets a question paper the group of examiners who set a question paper they happen to stay in a pl place where there was a flood that night okay then they can connect that day's flood with your own question paper that's for the geography public administration or uh, politics and international relationship you know you know you have to constantly update whereas in, in literature per se where is the scope for you know asking a new thing you, he cannot uh, ask let us say if if the english literature it talks about king lear of uh, william shakespeare's play any one of the plays he cannot ask about uh, tell about the flash flood in shimla in connection with uh, william shakespeare's play any questions that need to be asked it has to come within the william shakespeare itself he cannot by far stretched imagination he cannot go beyond it means that only the question and the words that are used in the syllabus will differ but rest everything will remain the same so the facts of king lear will remain the same how the story was written remain the same only the way or the style i am going to write it is going to differ in comparison to this almost all the literatures will follow the suit and uh, you know some uh, some some other literatures might have a modern literature the newly emerging literatures in the perspective so they might uh, in within that modern literature was also when the syllabus was set somewhere in 2000 uh, i think 2001 2002 uh, what the syllabus they had given they haven't changed till now so even deviating from that part it is going to be uh, the difficulty so it is we can say that literature syllabus in comparison to other subjects uh, uh, with the exclusion of uh, anthropology and philosophy that we have a very concise syllabus so syllabus um, rich in content allowing for in depth study that is true the literature you study it is it allows you to interpret in your own way that you wanted to write it is not like there is a fixed formula in which you need to write the names of the character excuse me the names of the character is going to remain the same and almost everything remains the same only thing is you know you need to write and think in a new perspective and write okay so you see for example if at all you are able to take a king lear of uh, uh, william shakespeare it's a play now they study from the perspective of disability studies king lear goes mad so modern days madness with the king lear the same content only the way you differently look at it how madness is seen see this man was literally having a, 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 a like a, a dementia situation so he was really longing for an attention from his daughters that is what the story the whole story is all about so the same story we are writing in a different perspective only thing i need to know the story nothing else nothing more okay so literary subject provide scope for creative expression that i will agree with you all the point you know so as, uh, when when people consider to take english literature optional as a as a paper you know what what is the thing they uh, english or any other literature uh, that is being uh, that is concerned what is the exact thing that we need 24 into 7 once you come for civil services preparation it is extremely excruciating time okay where your patience is tested your moral brings down and you also wanted to write your own inspirational story to someone okay in that time you really need to have a get away so when you grab a book or you study a novel or you watch a movie based on a novel that compensates your time in the sense that you know for example uh uh if at all you might have watched the movie the great gatsby uh it's a, one of the, uh, the very famous movies or almost all the novels in english literature they have been made into movies so when i really feel bored of with the study preparation still i can go and watch a movie and save my time because i was still preparing for upsc without any consideration for my time being wasted in watching a movie 
you, you get my point there are 15 novels among the 15 novels i think except two novels almost all the uh, 13 novels have been uh, all 13 novels have been made into movies still i can watch those movies there are five plays all the five plays are in the movie form in original it is there okay instead of i'm reading a text still i can watch a movie things and uh, still i can make time for my preparation doing it so that's what so the it gives for a creative expression so <clears throat> see this is 2020 and this is 2018 this is the normal percentage so hindi literature 6.8 kannada literature 13 malayalam literature is 10 point tamil sanskrit maithili english literature 9.70 that was in 2020 and 2018 you know when you and candidates wrote three candidates cleared that is 14.3 percent okay <clears throat> so this is an overall picture of 2020 and 2018 comparison the strike rate within the literature and you know the beauty of the literature is uh, consistently uh, uh, consistently english literature has never gone down 10 percentage of strike rate okay never ever gone down english literature whereas almost all other optionals that has gone drastically down to 6 percentage then suddenly shooting up to 20 but india as uh, english literature has gone up to 22 percentage at a point of time but it has come down but it has never gone below 9.5 it has never gone uh, other 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 optionals have drastically gone down and shot up it means that it is a safe stock to bet it means you know there is no drastic loss that i will not have in any given year of the time is it clear if it means 10 candidates are going to write definite loan is going to clear that is sure at the maximum 2 2 2 2 3 okay that is the strike range normally uh english literature has okay so it doesn't fluctuate english literature doesn't fluctuate like any other optionals okay any other optionals almost all optionals there are optionals where it will go all of sudden to zero okay it means that from that optional nobody cleared okay there are there are optionals that uh, will go to 3 percentage this year 16 next year it will be 6 percentage so english literature optional has in the gone down this is the lowest that india english literature has come down is 9.7 which is 10 percent 10 percent its spike rate is always there and an average and an average if you take from uh, let us say 2015 till now average english literature has given 15 percent its spike rate which is much huge in comparison to any other optional subjects put it together so i am not at all play, playing with the mathematics i am just presenting you the facts to for all of you to see so and an average uh, english literature has consistently showed that it is one of the top most scoring optionals ever okay so <clears throat> so there are two points that you can consider okay and there are two points you can consider in uh, english literature fact fact wise one is its striking range is well defined within the limit of uh, uh, the highest striking range that any optional subject can offer do you get me so see every year one or the other subjects will shoot up other subjects will come down this is how normally the strike ranges are arranged in in case of english and an average i'm getting 15 percentage even the lowest point it touches 10 percentage and its highest point it goes up to 20 22 percentage which means that a fluctuation of english literature optional is not at all uh, a bad choice it is a wonderful choice that english literature if i take i have a great strike range okay if i buy that gun if i buy that car and my strike range is good okay so fact wise english literature optional is one of the safest optional that you can 
opt for not only you anyone who knows english that's one thing okay and uh, well defined syllabus with um, ample resources available okay so uh, the second factor that I, i really wanted to say is the competition is extremely simple okay uh, means less if 50 candidates are going to write 10 percentage which means that five people are going to get selected from the same 50 people it means that in the same classroom i need to be a class leader it is as simple as that so my competition is very limited in terms of number i am not at all competing with the super duper people i am just competing with this 50 people to get into the top okay that is the one thing. and the third thing is uh the beauty of english literature is anyone who has cleared with english literature with the utmost honesty i am saying they have cleared only on the top rank of the list not on the bottom list okay so either they opted for ifs and they had gone out or they are in ias or ips it means that english literature gives them the an advantage to be on the top list it means that they clear only on the top parameter not on the bottom parameter so fact to wise if at all you consider almost all the syllabus is put together one is my competition is less second thing is my strike range is somewhere let us say around 15 percentage let us say even you you come to the negative connotation it is somewhere around 10 percentage 10 to 12 let us then another thing is you know if it is because Uh, it is because of the english literature that i am able to have an advantage in getting the service so any candidate that you meet cleared with english literature normally will be able to tell that we are uh, normally we, uh, we will t- they will be able to tell that we are in this range it is just because of my optional subject nothing else okay and it is a well defined syllabus with ample resources available see the the beauty of it you just upload your syllabus in the system or google search almost all the materials are available to you there is nothing that uh, no one has taken a class of it you know uh, you, you just to put you know the same example i'm using it king lear you will have at least a minimum of a 5000 videos you know the people who have been talking about king lear and ideas you definitely need not know that uh, what king lear is all about almost all the cartoons materials and stuff like that for any poem maybe it also house hendrix ibsen's it also house or anything like that you know the resources available if at all you are able to spend little time on it it is awesome and superb no other subject will have as many resources as possible like english literature okay and this this is a huge thing so first of all you know people will tell where to get the book and stuff like that it's not at all needed you need to get those resources because almost all the resources are there even mind maps if at all you really wanted to have an english literature background then resources are there suitable for candidate with strong command over english because our languages need to be written. okay so our language need to be written in that uh, uh, perspective if at all you have really good command over english then definitely this subject will fetch you a very good mark yeah, that's hands okay so if at all you think that uh, i am not of english literature background n- not necessarily to be you you can understand you can read a novel okay you can read a play it means that you are definitely going to ace the exam involves analysis and critical thinking enhancing answer writing quality Uh, very often you know i i come across candidates you know, who tell that uh, if they clear prelims then definitely they will be in service the only thing they have is they are unable to clear prelims come on that is that is that is a bullshit you know that doesn't work here in ups you know what what is the primary criteria for uh, clearing prelims it is a qualification paper even ups it doesn't count you or count your mark since you have cleared prelims ups it counts on only one skill that you need to have to come into service what is the cri- criteria that's the only skill that upsc checks you that you are whether you are suitable for uh, indian civil services indian administrative services you know what is the one skill that uh, upsc 
checks in you or checks in any candidates is that your writing skill you write your essay well you write your gs1 you write your gs2 gs3 uh, ethics and your optional paper well if you are told you are able to write a subjective paper well and score good mark then you are going and of course they, then you know you might ask a question what about interview then interview you know almost you check almost all the candidates interview mark it's in in an average it will remain in the same wavelength okay let us say 100 and 175 points okay it doesn't fluctuate too much to the bottom interview unless and until you go and abuse the exam abuse the interviewer and the interviewer normally they don't abuse you back you know unless and until that happens it doesn't happen in you know, normally interview is a cake walk okay uh, so interview skill is that half an hour you go there in front of five people you need to smile then you will smile they will ask you some question and you walk out that is the the interview thing you have but what is the, if you go to that interview what is the one skill that is checked is your writing skill whether you are able to write well or not whether you are able to have that critical thinking ability to write that answer. and trust me if at all you are a literature candidate you will be able to write answers much much better than any other candidates on the front so it is only one skill that is checked for upsc it is a writing skill if at all you are someone is able to write then you are going to get into a rank list and for that english literature or any literature subject that helps and english literature uh, naturally gives you that ability to write well because it is your own thinking and thought process as an optional the subject is wonderful because it's a lot of fun to reading you know if you love reading if at all you are not person who is not at all reading definitely you are not in the wrong place at the wrong time correct upsc involves a lot of reading you should write a read a hindi newspaper and stuff like that you know i have seen uh, i have seen there are some some successful candidate telling that if they had uh, they did not have any time to read newspapers and stuff like that. that doesn't happen anyway right anyone who succeeds can create any stories okay that will sell because they have succeeded okay but the amount of hard work that went on behind no one will be able to come to know see for example tomorrow you happen to see uh, uh, john mitchell has cleared upsc exam in the first rank okay see i i am not at all competing with you but that's one thing my age has crossed that's the second thing okay so uh, the first few months will be my honeymoon period by the time you know next morning you know some people come and interview me the some people who come to interview me i can make up any stories to tell and to get motivated because that is the media attention uh, that i have even i can tell that you know one day i fell from the tree and suddenly i got up and god told me go for ups and then the, that a tree will become very famous along with me correct so the stories can can become any, any inspirational stories can come to the fray once you are successful but i i never read i am not a reading person i am not a writing person and someone tells and still i cleared upsc then it is uh, i i can give it to you in writing that is not at all going to happen because these are the two skills you cannot write something unless until you are a well read man okay and the, the highest of all the skills is a writing skill and that is the only skill that upsc is checking and so this reading novels and stuff like that it doesn't tax you okay you either read a novel or watch a movie that is the all thing that english literature is asking of either you sit and watch a movie or you sit and watch a novel and laugh or live with that character okay so when you are really fed up with the other preparations gs definitely english literature will help you get to read some of the best poems and writings that is true okay you can right you will read plenty of love poems and you can quote that poems you know you can live so it acts as a diversion that is true okay see almost all the days we will not be able to write whenever whenever you are traveling you can always grab a novel of your own subject and you can still go again it is static no need of gk unlike other subject it doesn't evolve daily it's a daily updation see once you prepare that the same note is enough for your eternity i prepared for in in to start, start my preparation 2014 
the same material same shakespeare same king lear same exam do you get me so i i no need to uh, make sure that uh, whether whether the honorable prime minister went to russia or not you know king lear doesn't travel like that do you get me? then you get to learn about european history and ideology some of which find applicable in gs means world history definitely it comes into uh, help if you at all you have english literature so consider these challenges so practically not much guidance is available okay these are the challenges definitely we have okay so not much guidance is available but trust me almost all the people who have cleared they cleared on their own and most of the people 50 50s that is 50 percentage they had english literature as a background and another 50 percentage they they were new to the fray okay and uh, all these uh, people those who are new to the fray they uh, they cleared it with english literature studying on their own writing on their own and they did not have someone to guide them this is how you have to write answer this is how you have to phrase an answer so you think about a situation see uh, there are so many materials and coaching classes available for all other optional subjects there is one subject which has the same striking range without any guidance or anything and people writing on their own and uh, getting clear it means that the effort from their part was almost minimal and uh, that is something very unique with english literature good teachers willing to check your copies and guide you are glad to be found that is very true when i was preparing for uh, uh when i was uh, preparing for english literature i went around with uh, around so many universities to ask professors to help me and all the things they thought you know you do it on your own this is how madras university i had gone i went to st joseph strichi i went to loyola college and you know i i exhausted all my resources okay so still uh without anything i had gone interview it is because uh my english literature uh optional which i prepared on my own uh, uh helped me to go for my interview i i can tell it and no okay an extremely sophisticated answer writing is must for literature and that is not extremely sophisticated skill that is needed only for literature you want to clear upsc then you have to have an answer right and trust me if at all you are going to write upsc and it's a writing for english literature i to means that you are going to write almost all the answers and that is the only skill that is checked in in, uh, in upsc paradigm no other skill if at all you are someone thinking about the vast scope of knowledge that is not at all going to help that is the answer writing skill it is uh, the huge boom that will come. and another thing that if i can <clears throat> uh another thing that is if at all you are a person who is having an english literature as an optional it means that you have an very easy approach to write other two papers in gs that is only essay that you will be able to write because essay things your essay involves your own imaginations and creativity and another one is ethics so ethics you have to dissect each and every character that is involved in such a phenomena whereas only in english literature you will be dissecting almost all the characters and their uh, and and the morality of their actions okay so and the morality of their actions will be judged and you will be writing whether king lear was correct or cordelia was correct or kendu was correct or the fool was correct so you will be judging whether the, those people from the morality perspective so once you do it for 15 novels to the variety of characters then any case study that is given to you or any morality question based you will be able to tell whether that person was ethically correct or wrong and that is what ethics paper is all about so your essay paper comes naturally to you and your uh, ethics paper comes naturally to you if you have english literature as an option <clears throat> uh, and another thing is literature is a rare, rare choice people will not take because And, and that myth i have already busted it because it doesn't mean 2000 people take okay uh, uh, it is a right choice because uh, 2000 people uh, uh, since 2000 people take uh, the same optional it doesn't mean that it is a safe because we are on the same platform but one is higher competition and another one is the lower competition that is the only thing so it is a myth to say that because people don't take it that's it 
consider these challenges practically not much guidance is available of course good teachers willing to check your copies and it this there you know the, the following it literature is lengthier as compared to other subjects no definitely no i if you would ask me any other standard subjects uh, any other standard subjects that you are is, uh, willing to take that will have much more lengthy time at least minimum 3 to 3 and of months it will take uh so 3 to 3 and of months it will take uh whereas english literature if at all you are dedicatedly focusing on 2 months in itself is sufficient okay you will be able to complete your whole syllabus within 2 months okay literature is tougher than other subjects no not at all it is one of the easiest thing you know you might have a question sir you are uh, you know initially you told that you, you are optional is uh, uh, english literature and you are gold medalist in english thing and all uh then you know you have double master so for you it might be easier you now what about a person who who randomly jumps in you know he doesn't have any knowledge about it and some people have another question like whether english literature is all about the grammar there is no grammar and all whether uh, i i i with utmost honesty i will tell you that english literature is for all okay only thing is i am able to teach it is because my study background happened to be english literature okay otherwise i can say that with a bare minimum of preparation english literature will make sure that you go for uh, you will definitely jump into your interview stage like me uh, provided all other option uh, all other gs paper support you okay so it is not lengthier as compared to and the time duration required in comparison to other subject it is much less at least one month 30 days which is a huge in upsc preparation literature is tougher than other subject no come on here you have to read nearly 20 stories 20 stories you will be able to recollect front and back i no need to have any facts in my minds i no need to recollect the complex names and stuff like that. so that is much more important i need to have only one paper and who all are the characters of the play then definitely i will be able to do it. literature is not a high scoring subject no because you you have seen the scorecard and scorecard tells a different story altogether and i have already told you with english literature either you uh as uh, so with in english literature you will go one of the top most services qualifying civil services through literature is tough no last year we have uh, arranged for a class for uh, the students those who have opted for english literature with uh, reim was uh, as uh, all india top 26 she she prepared with uh, english literature and she got her home cadre from kerala okay she studied in the same university where i studied she studied on her own english literature and gave and 26 and you know the first thing uh, she told almost all the candidates uh, those were present online and offline she came online when she was in mussoori training she came on time and she said the only thing you know just don't believe in any of the myths that you have i prepared it on my own i wrote the answers on my own i have nobody i had nobody to correct but today i got my home cadre it is just because of my english literature if the without english literature i could have not come this far and it is one of the easiest optionals but if you have please go ahead with it and i really uh, really think why people don't choose such an easy thing that is already available to them okay this is exact words of rim who is a 26 now she is in uh, now she is in kerala as a trainee iis of that you will have to study all the writers of the english literature oh, come on yaar that is a well defined syllabus that is given okay only whatever is given that you have to study see whether we have some topics i have not added because still the data i was unable to collate it i told rim 36 rank she is uh, uh, last year topper uh, so english literature optional topics 2017 26 2023 uh, so 22 also rim 22 uh, result came in 2023 okay so 26 gaurav garg 2015 320 ajay prakash 2009 uh, shishita kisor 2010 39 mona prothi the 
the national topper was an english literature and there are so many candidates after 2017 2000 i think it was in 2019 we had uh, all india top rank of 17 she opted for ifs officer a fatima she was from english literature okay so it is definitely a top scoring paper uh number of candidates opting for relatively fewer candidates compared to other optionals growing interest due to perceived advantages nowadays this option is really picking up that i can say okay uh, i was uh, uh, watching a video where an uh, a, a teacher was telling that nearly he has 100 candidates enrolled only for uh, english literature option in delhi okay which is definitely a number that is picking up okay uh generally higher than many other optionals okay i don't know whether you are able to see it yeah see 2017 21 candidate two candidates 9.5 then 2016 uh six candidate 15 9.5 9.1 15.21.9 16 26.7 2010 okay this is a normal average range of english literature you have you n- never see that it is breaching the mark only once in 2014 9.1 that is where it has gone below 9.5 it has never gone below it but it has also had 26.7 highest of any other options as well there is a 100 percentage is there like bodo literature where only one candidate writes and do, that one candidate pass, passes the exam that is 100 percentage that is under exceptional stories that we cannot take in a na- normal average okay then why english literature is a better <clears throat> so focuses on comprehensive understanding analysis helps in improving writing skills beneficial for essay papers and ethics paper lesser competition due to fewer candidates opting for it okay and offers a blend of creativity and uh, academic study so su- choosing the right optional is uh, crucial for success in upsc literature subjects particularly english literature offers unique advantage candidates should consider their interest and resources before making a choice i have something more to add on to which i have see total i said 15 it is a 14 novels we have overall five plays and 60 poems 60 poems are very small except one poem which is quite lengthy that is in memoriam for which you no need to go through the whole poem there are other uh, milton's paradise lost which is quite lengthy but quite interesting poem okay so 14 novels five plays and uh, uh, 60 points that is the overall average syllabus you have this five plays if you want to finish it up you can finish it up within a single day five plays you can just open the youtube and watch and complete it done and dust 14 novels you know if at all you want to go through the summary wise within a week you will finish it up 14 novels means summary wise it is quite a bit easier if you really want to read the novels and stuff like that exactly to complete the full syllabus you need only 2 months not at all more than that okay and there are uh, new things this we have two types of orientations that is paper 1 focuses between 1600 to 1900 okay the age then paper 2 is between the literature that came from 1900 to 1990 means that between the two world war what are the literature that has come before first world war to after the uh, after the second world war so the second paper is focused on new literature uh, and before that uh, 16th century to sorry 17th century to 19th century or beginning of 20th century so what is the new literature has come this is these are the only two papers because the evolution is slow so in between and the syllabus is given chronicle wise okay starting from shakespearean period ending with uh, the beginning of modernism that is the syllabus we have in first paper and second modernism post modernism uh, then you know new schools of thought that is what is given so and uh, you know in between as we read along the novel we also will find that the history of europe is more or less covered and english literature also the basic understanding of the history of english literature will do okay
then before you know we are running short of time maybe before you take up any syllabus whether it is english literature syllabus or any other syllabus any other option consider this in mind what is you should know the syllabus and uh, second thing is uh, uh, whether you are naturally attracted to it whether this optional has an added advantage in my preparation process because it cannot add see we have come and it is going to be a cutthroat competition in this i do not a subject doesn't contribute to that advantage then it is worthless okay and then you have to read and you should write you unless the biggest advantage of english literature is nearly 80% of the questions are always repeated 80% rest 20 percentage the same question given in different words so i will be able to tell with utmost honesty here on this stage in a public forum almost all the 100 percentage of the questions asked in english literature is hard to beat okay so you solve a previous year question paper it means that you are going to solve the next year question paper so it is not like all of sudden you went and opened the question paper like a mr bean and you panicked and had a heart attack it is not at all going to happen you open and you know that this is what you are going to write and you are going to write this choosing an optional it is up to you almost all of you i do not know the choices that you have made in life whether taking birth to your own parents was your choice or not i do not know. I, that was not my choice here choosing the second major choices that you might have made in your lifetime may be uh, choosing the 11th group because that propels you to a different trajectory whether you go to medicine engineering or to the humanity side i do not know that choice you made or someone else made for you. after 12th going for the degree i do not know whether the choice you made uh, that is your choice or uh, somebody else's choice coming for upsc preparation still you do not know whether it is your choice or someone else's choice but the impact of preparing for upsc and getting into service you should make a very conscious deliberate choice the choice that is given to you is a golden opportunity to choose choose wisely you are keeping precious lifetime of yours here and uh, you know this choice you are you will be asked to take the fullest responsibility possible so choose the optional that will suit you and give your fullest effort possible from that perspective only thing that i will be able to tell with due respect to all other optional papers whether someone is there or not Uh, to guide you someone is there or not to work with you you will never ever regret taking english literature as an optional paper for your upsc preparation that regret will not be there at uh, that regret will not be there at any point of time so <clears throat> so please do keep that in mind and uh, prepare uh your choices according that's it thank you any questions is uh, is people are still online or they just ran irukangala uh, the people those who are on online any doubts i actually see i am thinking about it because last time you know uh, we had weekend classes i i'm i'm thinking about uh, whether we can convert it into weekdays so that we will be able to finish it up faster 
that is that is one consideration is always there if, if, if it is weekdays available then we will be able to finish it up i i i will make sure that it is one of the fun filled class that you have and uh, so you know almost all the materials are ready with this uh i i will be sharing the materials and uh, whether you like english literature or not please see the novels 14 novels grab one novel and start reading it and fall in love with it that will help you to fall in love with the reading for upsc and it will change your mentality okay so that is there uh, once uh, i will analyze with the optional coordinator and we'll try to start the optional paper as early as possible okay uh trust me that if at all you are opting for english literature uh if at all you are ready to give your 100 percentage and you prove you prove that you are definitely a very serious candidate i will give my 200 percentage that you go to any length of it that's it okay that i will i will definitely that is the, the word that i gave and then we can still sit and plan okay provided we, we will we will come to know you know there are various parameters that on which you need to sit and judge so once you come to the class then we will dissect each and every individual's preferences and stuff like that then we will go ahead with okay so we'll start with something easier so that you will be able to understand then we'll go to english literature background and you know we'll try to go about yeah any more question sir kekan ma yeah yeah we can ask almost all of you joined this year recently okay hopefully i did not waste you one hour of time yeah kekrangla அவங்க போயிட்டாங்களா என்னோட it was supposed to start on 7th of july to the best of my knowledge special is it actually uh, so far now orientation is over i think within two weeks or something they will start okay uh, within okay, within sir. two weeks okay sir thank Your you so much sir my name is chahat i nice know you chahat thank you sir anything oh okay that's it yeah so thank you so much for listening to me make sure you make a wise choice whether this optional or that of any optional i'm sorry that i did not go through the detailed of syllabus and stuff like that it is just an orientation to tell you okay. hopefully you might have derived some new knowledge so go and find it out your own space and your own labor then we will sit and discuss okay thank you